New market, 71% of all homes sold in the month of May sold at or above the asking price. Hey, I'm Darcy Toombs, broker and team leader with Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker. And this is the top three things you need to know about what happened in the month of May. Before we start, I wanna say thank you to Made in Mexico for allowing us to film today in their private dining room at 179 Main Street South in Newmarket. If you haven't been here before, this is an amazing family-friendly restaurant that serves authentic Mexican cuisine and many amazing drinks with or without tequila. My go-to option for eating here is definitely the chicken chimichanga, but be forewarned, this thing is huge, so come hungry. As for drinks, it's gotta be the lime bulldog. If you know, you know. Let's get into it. Number one, inventory at the start of the month was very low. By the end of the month, it was plentiful-ish. It certainly felt like a very busy month, but the actual number of sales kind of reflected a little bit of a different story. With little to choose from at the beginning of the month, buyers were competing with one another and seeing many homes sell quickly and for a lot of money. However, once the long weekend was over, there was 84 listings that hit the market that were either new or freshly listed that came to the market between May 22nd and May 31st. So I stress, this includes several properties that were reintroduced to the market that did not sell at a different price point before. There were 129 active listings at the end of the month, which is actually an increase of 60% over the previous month. But still, we remained at a record low for the month of May for active listings at the end of the month. Very important to keep in mind. And this is exactly what brings us to our second point. The average and medium prices were the highest that they've been in over 12 months. This stat blew me away. May was the first time since August 2022 that we actually had year-over-year -year appreciation in price. With the average price up $57,000 year-over-year, and the month-over-month -month price actually up $90,000. However, it really should not be lost on anyone that this is all inventory-driven. With little to choose from, buyers are really being forced to pay higher prices because there's no other options for them. It's simple supply and demand economics. But what is not simple economics is the cost to own the same house as a year ago is up dramatically with the increased interest rates. And on June 7th, the Bank of Canada actually increased the interest rate again by a quarter point which is why we're not predicting prices remain at these levels as we start to see inventory slowly rise. Number three, there was 82 sales at or above the asking price. That worked out to 71% of the 115 sales. Now, pricing games did have a lot to do with this, largely due to the lack of inventory and strong demand from buyers in certain price points. It should also be noted that four of the sales in the month were over $2 million. That's the most $2 million plus sales we've had since June of last year. All right, so what's all this mean? Well, here's my thoughts. Inventory is good and we do need more. Prices are high, but the demand for housing is also still very high as well. And unless inventory doubles, I do not see prices moving much more than 10% over the next few months. However, if we see inventory levels get to what we saw in 2018, when we had 531 active listings in the month of May, it could be a completely different story. All right, if you have any questions or comments about anything you've heard today, reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're a homeowner and you'd like to get an idea on how much your home is worth in today's market, reach out to us. We'd love to set up a complimentary home evaluation to give you a realistic idea on how much your home is worth today. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month.